Hey there guys, uh, so just wanted to make another video. <laughs> I've made so many today. Um, I am going to upgrade the RAM on um, my friend's 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro. Um, I'm also gonna be replacing the hard drive in it with an SSD, um, but that will come later. Uh, I just wanna do the RAM install first since it's a, it's a little slow. So the So this is a 256 gig SSD that I'll be putting into it. And this is a um, package with eight gigs of RAM. It is DDR3, 1333 megahertz RAM. Uh, the 15 inch in 2011 came with four gigs standard, which uh, in 2018 is not a lot. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back cover off and get these screws out here and then I will uh, come back. All right, and we are back. So uh, just took the top cover off here and you can see there's a little bit of dust here where the fans were and that can contribute to it being slow so it's a little dusty in there so we'll definitely get that cleaned out and get a q-tip in there and see what we can do to get it cleaned up so here we have our optical drive we have the hard drive here which is a 500 gig um, does not say yeah 5400 rpm so it's slow as molasses that's why it's getting taken out here uh battery's still good and then here's our ram so i believe it's only no there's actually is two sticks of ram here so that's let's see so i'm gonna have to do this two-handed and i have the two new sticks here so let me go ahead and do that real quick all right and here we have it so i have the new ram in here so i uh, went from four to eight gigs and changed out the hard drive uh, from the 500 gig uh, regular hard drive to a solid state drive, uh, 256 gigs. And uh, one thing you want to do is if you replace RAM in your computer, uh, you want to you want to reset the PRAM. Um, and I will uh, put a link in the uh, description of how to do that. And uh, that will reset the RAM and reset a couple other things so it'll run uh, with the new RAM. And uh, that should be about it there. So thank you guys for watching. All right, so I have uh, started the computer up uh, by holding Option and then selecting the USB with the uh, new uh, Mac OS here. And what I'll be doing first is I'm going to um, go ahead and format the disk that I just installed. So I just installed a new SSD into this machine and we're gonna go ahead and format it first. Okay, so we've got the, uh, this is the SSD here, and it is not formatted, so we're gonna go ahead and format it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in APFS. version I'll just do the regular APFS here and then I'll just name it oops Mac o S. <laughs> let's see if I can actually get things typed here all right so just named it Mac OS all right I think that yeah that should be fine I believe Okay, so now we're done there. So it's now created Mac OS for the internal volume. So we'll go ahead and click out of this here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and install. All right, and so we're setting up Hi Sierra here. Okay, and you can look through the terms and terms of service if you'd like, but I don't really want to read that. Okay, have you read and agreed to them? Not really. All right, so we will be installing to this disk, and let's go ahead and hit install. Okay, it says about five minutes remaining. 
that's pretty quick, honestly. So if that's five minutes, that's not bad for installing a whole operating system. All right, well, I'll let this install and I'll come back and show you uh, the setup after that. Okay, and here we are back at the installation and uh, it took about 15 minutes uh, from the time that I clicked off here. So I'm gonna choose United States. Let's see if I can actually click it there. All right, we're in a little beach ball. Do, do, do. And while it was doing the installation, it was, uh, the fans were ramping up real high and everything, so it was definitely not a fan <laughs> working hard. So select your keyboard. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get the Wi-Fi here. I'm sure it's gonna have some updates. Then in privacy, this icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. You won't see this every. You won't see this with every feature since Apple collects information only when needed to enable features, secure our services, or personalize your experience. Okay, and I'm going to start fresh here. Uh, let me go ahead and type this in, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So uh, I ended up skipping the Apple ID and go ahead and just creating a local account for now. So this gives you um, Express setup so you can have Siri on, allow maps and other services like Find My Mac to um, uh, gather data to use your location and help Apple improve its products. So I'll go ahead and continue on those. All right, so setting up. All right, and we are to the home screen now. So this is the stock home screen, and let's see uh, let's see what version we're running here. It's actually running on the most recent version. So we are on uh, 10.13.6, and I believe this is the final version that will run on this computer. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. with the new SSD and RAM. Less than 30 seconds, it's good to go.